all of it in there. Try not to get it on the countertop. <laughs> hey, hey, what up, Delish? Millie Pear Tree here. I'm making my super famous southern baked macaroni and cheese. Let's get to it. So right now, I already have a pot boiling with water. We always want to have our pots ready. We're going to add some salt, because this is the time where we're going to season our pasta. And now we're going to add 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. If you don't have elbow macaroni, feel free to use whatever pasta you have in your pantry. Most importantly, cooking is you make things your own. Use whatever you have. We're gonna cook this according to the package. We're gonna make it al dente because we're gonna add some other yummy ingredients and don't forget we're gonna put it in the oven so we don't wanna overcook this pasta. So now that we have cooked our noodles, we're gonna drain them under cold water. So you wanna make sure that the noodles are cool enough to touch. So when we add our eggs, they don't scramble. We have our noodles draining right now. We're gonna take one stick of butter into our same pot. We're gonna melt it. And then once this is melted, we're gonna add our noodles back. We'll season with salt and pepper, get a layering process going on. It's gonna be super delicious. So now that our butter has fully melted, we're gonna add our cooled elbow macaroni to the pot. We're going to season with about a half a teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt, some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon or so, and then we're going to mix. So again, another quintessential Southern recipe. Way back when, we had to actually shred cheese, and cheese was more expensive back then, and all these ingredients weren't readily available. So this was something that was made for holidays, something made for after church, this was just the dish that you knew it was really special if someone bought the macaroni and cheese, and most importantly, when it was good macaroni and cheese. So now that we have all this mixed together, we're gonna start adding the best part, cheese. We've added some cheese to the pot, and the reason why we add it to the pot is because we don't wanna wash a whole bunch of dishes, right? We're not looking to melt this cheese. The melting process is gonna happen in the oven. It sounds like a lot of steps that I'm promising you, it's so worth it. So now we have a casserole dish. We're gonna slightly spray it, because we don't want anything to stick, right? And we're gonna take half of our macaroni and cheese mixture, and we're gonna add it in, right? And then we're gonna spread it out some. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another layer of cheese, kind of like a lasagna. I have a friend of mine, he calls it cheese with macaroni. So we're gonna add our remaining macaroni now, and our close to last and final step is the custard. We're gonna add three eggs to some milk. Now you can add heavy whipping, you can use cream, you can use half and half, depending on how rich you want it. But we're just gonna add it directly to this milk. I'm using whole milk. And you can totally substitute 2% or something like that. And we're gonna make custard. Make sure we beat that yolk up really well. We're gonna take this custard mixture and we're gonna pour it all on top of this ooey gooey, macaroni, buttery cheese mixture. So now we're gonna cover it with aluminum foil and we're gonna bake at 350 degrees. guys ready you see that cheese let's go to it it's so good see that cheesy creamy I like those pops of pepper in the back we taste the butter coming through the ooey gooeyness of the cheese the texture of the macaroni it is so well balanced this brings me back to my childhood whether it's after church whether it's Christmas or Thanksgiving, this is just the best meal to make you feel close to your loved ones. Okay, see you later guys. I'm gonna go enjoy my macaroni and cheese. <laughs>